Well, summer, of course, is a popular time for homeowners to do work around the house. But a Milwaukee man is urging you to do your homework before hiring contractors after he says he was scammed out of thousands of dollars. As CBS 58 and Telemundo, Wisconsin's Alexis Dominguez reports. Mark my words, I'm not going to let you be until justice gets served. We often hear paying up front is an easy way to get ripped off. That unfortunately proved true for Bernabe Gonzalez, a Waukesha homeowner. He did some very minor preliminary work. Um, after that, uh, there was just excuses. Uh, he wouldn't come in. Uh, he said that he would finish in four days and weeks went by and he didn't come back. Gonzalez met Jose de Jesus Juarez Delgado after he posted an ad on Facebook to pave a driveway at one of his properties. That's when Juarez Delgado showed up. A supposed contractor who claimed to work under a company called RJ Design and Construction LLC. We contacted the owner of the company, but they refused to answer our questions. CBS 58 went to the address listed in the company's public records seeking answers, but we didn't get any. So there's a lot of people that he defrauded, you know, not just by myself, and I hope that he stops doing this because uh, it's not fair and it's not right for the families that are working hard for their money. Delgado now faces a felony for theft of movable property, but he has failed to make several court appearances. Jose de Jesus Juarez Delgado, are you in the courtroom? According to court documents, Juarez Delgado is accused of taking off with five grand. He doesn't show up and all he tried to do is buy time and buy time and that's what I learned what he does. He tries to get it so people get frustrated and then let it go. This is a recorded video of Juarez Delgado from a separate incident. A worker demanding payment for a job they did for him. We were finally able to get in contact by telephone. Jose de Jesus Juarez Delgado at first showed no remorse for the accusations he faced. When asked if he would pay back the money, he decided he didn't want to continue the interview. Yo no estoy autorizando a que saque ninguna historia. During the recording of our conversation, he added that he recognizes his mistakes in feeling other people, but that he is working to fix the problems. So how do you find out if a business is legitimate and active? We took that question to the Better Business Bureau. You need to shop around, um, get several different estimates, and you really need to do your homework. So of course, check with the Better Business Bureau, see what type of a report we have on the company, if there's been complaints um, or reviews, our report will show that. In the meantime, Bernie Gonzalez hopes people watching can learn from his mistake. He's definitely a professional at as being a con artist. He can sell you a rock if you wanted to. That's how good he is at conning. That was Alexis Dominguez reporting, and you can uh, learn more about resources from the Better Business Bureau on our website, CBS58.